Hi, this is Mr. T, here with another sheet metal equipment safety and operation. Today we're going to go over lock folding machine. This lock folding machine has three operations. It does Pittsburgh lock, pipe lock, or group seam, and also has a flanging attachment. The capacity for our machine is 20 gauge mild steel. Primarily we're only going to run 24 or 26 gauge in it. It also has second capacities. We can't run material less than seven inches long or four inches wide. Seven inches long because of the roller spacing. If it was less than seven inches, it could actually go in between just one roll and go out of line and jam the machine. No less than four inches wide, so it keeps our hands and fingers away from the rollers and roller cover. So some of the parts of our machine. It has an on-off switch. It's just push button on and off. It does have an emergency stop. As I already said, we have Pittsburgh lock guys on this side, pipe lock or blue seam on this side. We have our roller cover. We have our flanging attachment. On our flanging attachment, we have our material thickness adjustment. Material thickness adjustment is done by turning it all the way into the stock and then back out to whatever material thickness we're running. It also has a spring tension handle. The spring tension handle actually holds our parts as we're running the piece through to properly form our flange. So, for our machine operation, as any equipment, we're going to have our safety glasses on, and we're also going to wear our gloves, our work gloves. Preferably leather palm or Kevlar that's not going to get sliced with material. Our material is very sharp, sharp edges, so we always want to protect our hands and fingers. So operating the machine as a guide bar, we want to make sure our piece of material is straight up against that guide bar and keep it against the guide bar until it's all the way through the machine. Start our machine against the guide bar. Rolls out into our Pittsburgh lock. So again, against the guide bar, feed into the machine, and then the machine pretty much does the rest. So that is our Pittsburgh lock scene. The other operation it does is a pipe lock or roof scene. The other side of the machine operates the same way. Against the guide bar, The machine runs it through and it makes our blue seam. When you're doing a pipe lock or blue seam, the only thing you have to do is flip the piece over to do the opposite side. So that would be our pipe lock or blue seam. The last thing our machine does it's attached, it has a flanging attachment on it. So to create flange, uh, our return flange for a Pittsburgh lock on a radial piece, this we, we have it on our machine. You can do it by hand in a rotary machine, but we have it attached on our machine. To do this, Pittsburgh lock and pipe lock feed from this side of the machine going this way. Flanging attachment starts from this side going the other way. All the flanging attachment is basically is two dies, two roller dies, and it has to catch the material in between to form. So we have to free bend our part to grab. So when I run this through, the outside or the heel is going this way. The inside or the throat is going this way. So I have to free bend opposite sides. Again, I start the machine. There's a groove here, a notch, where our part gets fed. It gets fed in. And it forms our 90 degree flange. So again with the heel. We run our piece out, and now we have our Return flanges for our Pittsburgh walk for a radial 
Over. So again, operation and safety of a rock falling machine.